All right, hello students. Uh, this video is going to be primarily focused towards my exploring automotive students who have not used this platform before, uh, but it will be accessible to all. So uh, I'm going to show you how to get logged into Electude, and we're going to start by going to Schoology. Uh, sorry, it is Reynolds.schoology.com. We'll go there. I'm already logged in, um, and we're going to go to our courses, and I'm going to go to my exploring courses, and we've got some distance learning information here. So we've got uh, a link to the video that I am making right now that's going to be right here. Uh, you are all here right now. Uh, and then we have a link to uh, Electude, the website. If we go there and we click up here on this link, it's going to take us to Electude. To get logged into Electude, you're going to go to Student. You are going to use your, my apologies, this is doing something weird. You're going to go to Student. You're going to put in your student ID, which is for this account I'm working on, and then you're going to put your password in. Your first password is going to be Motion2020, M-O-T-I-O-N 2020, no caps, no spaces. And then you're going to have to uh, accept the terms here. You're going to have to change your password, so make sure that you pick something that you can remember. Uh, I'm not going to be assigning a lot of work for this, so um, you could potentially be signing in once every week, once every other week. Uh, I, will, I will have new stuff up every week, but it's not going to be difficult to get caught back up if you miss a week here or there. Um, so make sure that with a password you're not using very often that you have it somewhere to recall. Um, if you have trouble getting your password, you can do the I forgot password and it will send you uh, your password. You'll, you'll be able to reset it. It'll send you a link to reset it. Um, so One of the problems that I have with this is they're actually kind of picky about the password. Uh, so it needs to be hard enough and it needs to be long enough. And I'm pretty sure it has to have letters and numbers. So keep that in mind. So it, it took my password. Uh, and now it wants us to go over some of the final, final details. If you do not see your email, your school email address here, please change it. Uh, for the next little while, we are going to have to get a hold of you um, uh, in a number of different ways. We've got uh, Remind, we've got the school email. Uh, I would highly suggest, at least during this time, that you figure out how to use your school email account um, because that is going to be the easy way for teachers to get a hold of you. Uh, personal email addresses are not tied to um, Synergy and they're not tied to Remind, um, at least out the gate, you might be able to um, after the fact. But uh, the easy way to keep communication as simple as possible is going to be making sure you know how to use your school email. So uh, we will accept that information. And then that's going to take us into our account and we've got our content of uh, exploring uh, uh, automotive period seven um, that's just the account where, where i put this phony account to show you this stuff uh, we have our current assignments we have our past assignments and we have our extra current are things that are due this week and by this week i mean the week uh, that you're in um, electude right now uh, I will cycle them all out of that as uh, the weeks progress and as I put new stuff in and I'll cycle it down to past assignments. Um, the past assignments is here and available so that you can work on getting caught up if you missed a week. Uh, so everything that comes from current is going to cycle into past. And then we have some extra and the extra are just some uh, modules and tests and quizzes that I, I feel like are probably uh, low enough level they're not and they don't require any higher level math or anything like that uh, and they're decently engaging modules with uh, good information that's not going to steal from um, 
down the road when we use this. If you take auto one with me or auto two or auto three, uh, if you complete this one time, you're done. And so I don't want to pull a whole bunch of modules from uh, other stuff that we use because then when we use it uh, down the road, you're going to be done with it already. Um, so we have that in here. I'll go in here and show you what this looks like. We've got some safety stuff in here. We have some how-to videos. This is for one specific car. This is for a Chevy Camaro. There's a handful of how-to videos that were just uh, interesting. We have some uh, hybrid electric battery safety and some hand tool safety. And then we have some uh, fuel stuff um, in here. So, um, We'll have some other stuff. I, as a matter of fact, I'm not seeing some that I thought I put in here. So uh, we'll, there will be some other stuff. It's not all going to be safety. There will be some car stuff and engine stuff. And uh, just keep an eye on that folder. That folder is not for grading. I'm not going to put any of that in the grade book. So keep that in mind. That's just something extra for you to do. Um, then we have our current assignments. I clicked here and this brought us to our current assignments. Uh, for this week, uh, until next Thursday, what I would like is for you to watch this MotoLogic uh, video tutorial. And then I want you to just play around with the MotoLogic. Uh, we can click on this link here, start module. And this actually launches the service information website. Uh, and you're all logged in and ready to go. You can put in the year, make, and model. You can put in the vehicle VIN number, or you can put in the vehicle uh, license plate number uh, and look up service information. If you're wondering um, about repair uh, or diagnostic information or um, uh, a process for doing a repair, uh, all of that is available here. And this is uh, can be accessed anytime through this account. Uh, so have some fun with this. Use this. Let me know how you feel about it because uh, this is something that was graciously donated um, by Electude this year just because of this stuff going on. Uh, they made this all available to us, but it's something that would cost money next year. Uh, and if it's something that you all appreciate having, uh, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Um, so... Be safe. If you have questions, please let me know um, and we will get through this. Thank you very much.